welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Lucky Line from CZT Mary Massey. Now, at the time of this recording, it is the 15th of March. <laughs> and the Beware of the Ides of March just went into my head. And and this, this tangle, oh, it's been around for a while. And I've avoided it <laughs> because when I look at this step, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. I just don't know. <laughs> so I, you know, I was searching for new tangles that I have not done before because my uh, one goal from a long time ago uh, was to do a new tangle every day, do a little quickie video on it. Um, and so I'm adding this to the St. Patty's Day collection. And um, I just like, okay, I just, I need to do it. I just need to do it. And so I did. And it wasn't, it wasn't as, it wasn't as hard as I thought. Sometimes just take the pen, just give it a try. And, you know, for, you may have to sit yourself down and give yourself a good talking to and just say, just, just hush, just do it. <laughs> so, and it's okay if, if it doesn't go right the first time, that's all right. Try, try again. All right. So this one. Uh, because it's a, it, she's she has it listed as a one continuous stroke and to think figure eight and I, and I put on my version of the step out think figure eight plus because it's it's a figure eight and then we add one or maybe two all right so in uh, this one uh, in her and Mary's step out uh, she kind of goes one direction on mine just because it's just the way my brain worked I kept going the other direction so. It doesn't matter what direction you go. I just want to give you that um, information now. All right, so we're going to start. Let's just start in the middle. Oh, yeah, let's just try to draw a big one. Okay, so I'm going to, and if for whatever reason, I just need to go up. And like I said, hers went the other way. So starting here and then coming up and then just a couple curve lines and then come back down and around. And, here, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to, I'm going to pause here. Um, so this is how I ended up doing my step out because I thought it helped. And I did do the arrows like she did. But so it's like we're, we're doing, doing this, coming out here. And then what happens is we're going to go the other direction without having that little bit there. But we can fix that later. And this is because, so then we're, so here we have our figure eight, right? Going, if, if we weren't doing the little bump in the top, figure eight, and then that also lands us up here. It presses us so that way we can come up here and do the last one. And then if you want to, oh, I'll, you know, I'll do that on a separate one because that way I can try again. Um, oh, and heck, let's just, we'll do another one. Uh, oh, oh, we'll cross these little lines here. Okay. So it was, <laughs> if they're like, oh, that's right, which way, which way was I going? I was going up. I don't know which way I'm going. But because of this, I need to go down because that's the way my eyeballs are seeing it. And the other direction, so that's completely okay. And I'm going to try to not think too much. Like that. All right, uh, because it's uh, we need to have three. All right, so let's, I'll uh, maybe we'll do a weird one right here. Little one. The hardest thing I think <laughs> is, and maybe if I was holding it like a figure eight, that would have been better because it just feels a little awkward. To, it's like you're coming around here, and then oh well, maybe it doesn't. Uh, I think because I was thinking about it too much. So you're coming around here and then going up and over. It's one of those. It's all good. Now, I mentioned, oh, I can fix this little bit. And why not just put a couple little curve lines in there. Or just one even. It just depends. I kind of like at least, well, it depends. Huh. <laughs> it's, you 
know, honestly, it is like I'm I'm hawing and I'm laughing because, I, you know, just a minute I'm going. Everyone is gonna unsubscribe from this channel because they're like, Heather, you can't do that. You can't even draw. It's oh, you know what I need? Well, I feel like I need to do something else up here, and maybe I shall. I don't know, but it's just like oh, this just looks awful. And but trusting the process and trusting some other things like the power of the line even if it's not a dot dot the line and or dot dot in the center and it's just like oh look it it's like artsy <laughs> so, <laughs> i you know it uh, it's crazy all right let me just show you a bigger and we'll add a fourth and i'm sorry yeah it just it, i don't know it's always just neat. All right, let's try this again. So same idea. I'm going to try to do this more in the center. And then this one, you can just add, add the, add the little bit there because you're crossing the line and this, cause it's like right in the middle. That's just how it ends up. So we'll do the same thing here. Start off with two these bigger ones yeah i think i'll definitely add three there <laughs> i you know i it, it was it doesn't take much but i i just think it's it's zentangle is the coolest thing since sliced bread and that is why part of why all right now because they are either a forward leaf clover or a shamrock let's do um i don't even know if this will Oh, I have an idea if this isn't showing up. No, it's not really showing. Is it showing up as green? If not, I have an idea. It, my camera's a little wonky. We'll add two, two, we'll add two shades. The, this is um, uh, General's Pastel Chalk Pencils. Mm-hmm. And we'll... And it is kind of neat to go over what's already there in a little, uh, <laughs> a little or a lot bigger. Whoops. Probably could have used to sharpen that, but it's okay. And then, and just doing two colors. I, um, yeah, that one, I kind of filled it all up there, didn't I? And then let's see, I have a green tortilla. I have... Um, if you get into the, like the chalk pencils, uh, go to, if you don't have any, go, go to a thrift store or, a, uh, I would, my mom was giving me some little cups and, um, well, because I like little cups cause I'm a bassoon player. And so I have reed cups. And, um, so I just started like collecting small cups. And so I have one, I think it's a, I think these are toothpick holders anyway, um, but if you have like little shot glasses or, or toothpick holder, and then you, well, let's see if I can even show you underneath here. Whoa. And then you have all your tortillons <laughs> with different colors. So that way you don't have to like start with a fresh one every time. Look at how neat that is. And so just, oops, look at, I forgot. Somebody, I know somebody was yelling at the screen. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Well, let's just add some more because that needs more of that light yellow, the light to green. And what I, what I like about the chalk pencils is that you can treat them like graphite. And so when I first um, found out about them and was exploring them, it was like, oh, this is exciting because I didn't have to learn anything new. It was kind of like, ooh, it, 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 it's a gateway pen into other art things. <laughs> oh, see, look at how neat that looks. Oh, I love it. Um, and, and because you could, yeah, like I said, you can use it with the tortillon, it blends real nice. Um, and you know, and that way you can add color instead of, um, just the, the graphite if you want to, and just have like a little hint. Uh, and it's just, it, it is really, really neat. So, um, and they are, cause I, I've been playing with some other of these, uh, they'll call them pastel 
right? General's Pastel Chuck is what these are. There's some other brands that I've tried. These ones are more like on the harder side, just a side note, because I, 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 well, in our community, if you're in the community, you already know, uh, you know, we, uh, we call it an enabler alert. And I should, I need to have a siren and a warning then, whoa, whoa, enabler alert on there. Um, but uh, there's another brand that, that um, someone had tried and they're really brilliant on, on dark surfaces. And so then we all it's like, we all have to get them <laughs> and try them. So, uh, but they're very, very soft too. So anyway, I just share that so that way to know there's a lot of different things that you can do. Uh, using colored pencils is neat, but they're, they're harder to, uh, it's a different blending than this. This is like, oh, I know how to blend graphite. So good. I can do this and I can apply it. And then you can try other things. It's just really cool. So neat tangle. I'm, I feel like I have achieved something because I gave it a try. If, if you were frightened by it, um, in the same way that I was just cause it was like, there's a lot of, you know, sort of unknowns and it's like, Oh, it's like doing art. Um, and then, and then to worrying about doing this, it, cause it is kind of uncomfortable to do this stroke where you're going, you know, you're dipping down and yeah, it's, it is a curved line. It's kind of a big C that goes into a bit of an S that goes back into a C and you kind of alternate I can think of it that way. Um, but even though some of them <laughs> turn out a little weird, it's still really cool. So, so anyway, thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> thanks for playing along today. Uh, if you enjoyed it, would love it if you clicked like, and if you liked it enough to see more, would love it if you subscribe to the channel. Um, in the description section, you will find links to the, the step outs, like I mentioned. Also ways to connect with me. So if you like my goofy style, uh, I would love to have you join me for online classes. I do, I teach almost twice weekly. It just depends on the week. There's one week that I, cause I do Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, Thursdays are always free and it's every Thursday, unless I have something weird in my schedule. And then I, I, you know, give, uh, usually plenty of notice because I would have plenty of notice, um, uh, from my own stuff. But, um, anyway, and I just, I shift the day. We don't, we never, I never cancel because I can't, can't do without, you know, uh, tangle time. So, uh, then some of the Tuesdays, uh, I have one, one of them that's a free session and that's called tough tangle Tuesday. And you can imagine, um, and then the others are, are paid ones. So one is, uh, exclusive to, uh, club members and that information is on my website. And, um, and then the last one is, is one that I would post. Uh, it's usually the fourth. Third, uh, excuse me, fourth Tuesday um, that I post. And then on the occasional fifth Tuesday, I am doing uh, uh, Zentangle Essentials. So if you are just new to Zentangle, uh, I will work to get the next one posted so that way it's there. Um, but I want to make sure to offer that more regularly than I have in the past. I, I do, I, you can always purchase a replay, you know, if you want. And, and that information is all available. So, oh, with that, <laughs> I almost forgot. Uh, if you happen to be on Facebook, uh, there's a link to uh, my Facebook page. So I'd love to have you follow me there. And if you would like to hang out with a bunch of crazy and wonderful Tangle addicts, we would love to have you. Uh, link below that is a link to our private group on Facebook. Uh, there's some membership questions uh, to uh, get you past the gatekeeper. And, um, and, and we would just love to have you join us. So if you happen to be there, um, you know, let's say come check us out, but I think you have to be a member to check it out. So anyway, we have a lot of fun, a lot of sharing, um, a lot of enabler alerts. <laughs> so anyway, um, just want to let you know about that. And with that, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And I wish you happy tangling.